Arterial disease is a process that uh, eventually leads to the narrowing and often the complete obstruction of the arteries. The arteries supply blood flow to our organs and most importantly, the heart. Blockages in the artery to the heart can lead to heart attacks and weakening of the heart muscle. So identifying that blockage before it becomes a heart attack is very important and it's a big part of what we do. Heart attack pain, again, classically, is a severe pain and pressure, usually in the front of the chest. Uh, it may travel or radiate, as we say, up into the neck or the jaw, or be felt in the back, and sometimes down the left arm. That would be a, a classic presentation for a heart attack. But uh, some patients don't get that, especially uh, women and diabetics. They will often get uh, non-typical symptoms and things that might represent other factors or other, uh, other causes. So a patient might have profuse sweating for no reason or suddenly feel very weak and dizzy or short of breath without the chest pain. So uh, one has to have a high index of suspicion to uh, attach those symptoms to a possible heart attack. A patient who comes in with a heart attack uh, at our hospitals triggers what's called a cardiac alert. And that, um, that's a, a message that's sent out to a whole host of people, including the cardiologist, but also uh, the cath lab team, uh, the nursing staff, uh, all, um, all getting them prepared to take a patient with a heart attack immediately to the cardiac cath lab once they reach the hospital or as soon as possible. Uh, a heart attack is heart muscle being damaged, and the longer the heart attack goes on, the longer one has chest pain, the more damage occurs. The faster we can get them to the cath lab and open up the artery, patients uh, can have minimal damage or no damage. And that's really one of the most gratifying things we do at MCI. A good part of prevention is in the hands of the patient. So it's not all what the doctor can do for the patient by treating this or that or identifying this or that or that. But a patient has a lot of the control over this themselves. So following a healthy diet, keeping a healthy weight, uh, getting regular exercise. These are things that everybody can do for themselves and in doing so really improve their chances of leading a healthy life and a healthy heart life too.